Most of the things we use every day are derived from living organisms. Some of them can be easily grown, while others are rare and therefore quite expensive. Like, for example, strictocedine, a compound belonging to a class of chemicals called monoterpenoid indole alkaloids. What a name. Let's just call them MIAs. MIAs occur in tropical plants. They are used in cancer therapy as anesthetics and even as antipsychotic drugs. Science knows about more than 2,000 MIAs, but sad to say, they are so rare in nature that it is impossible to study them. Harvesting just one gram of an MIA would take roughly one ton of these rare tropical plants. Numbers that nature cannot provide. Miami is a consortium of seven European research institutes within the European Horizon 2020 framework. Their goal is to leave the exotic plants in the jungle, where they belong, and grow MIAs at home, not within a plant, but within a well-known organism, yeast. The idea to do so follows a more recent concept in biotechnology called synthetic biology, where cells and biological processes are seen with the eyes of an engineer. No matter if a compound is rare or not, if its building plan is hiding within the plant's DNA, it only has to be discovered. In a first step called genome sequencing, the rare plant's DNA is read into a computer. Having a digitized genome, the quest for the MIA code can start. A puzzling job that hopefully ends with the genetic sequence coding for the production plan for MIAs. Having the plan, it's time for the genes to leave the virtual space and come back to real life. A DNA printer will do the job, creating a stable DNA strand. Finally, it's time for the MIA strain to move into its new home, the yeast. Thereby, a new kind of yeast is created, carrying the production plan within its DNA, hopefully fermenting the precious compound in quantities that make it cheap and available in the future. In a final step, clinical trials of the fermented MIA compound are taken out to optimize the yeast for production on an industrial scale. Miami can be seen as a starting point, as there are more than 2,000 other promising MIA molecules in the pipeline that could be shifted to yeast in the same way. Streamlining the transformation from rare plants to well-known organisms like yeast will be a game-changer. It could make many substances that are rare and expensive today cheap and widely available in the future, as well as save biological reserves and resources from unnecessary exploitation and extinction.